All right, if it hasn't come up already yet, it should. Hey, feels good, man. Feels good. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, so as the title says, this is only a test stream. I'm really just testing out mainly audio levels. I want to make sure. Question number one, are things too loud? The mouse clicks I'm not going to be able to do much about for now because uh, I'm not like Luca. I don't have a, a boom arm, I think it's called. But anyway. My mic is like literally right here, so I can't do much about the mouse clicks, unfortunately. I'll try to keep them to a minimum. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. That's good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So, uh, no cam for now. Maybe that will happen in the future. I just want to make sure the, the audio is good and everything. And I'm gonna, we're gonna do a draft in Eternal, which I've been playing Eternal for like the past year now. So, should be interesting. So, unlike Hearthstone, you get to keep your cards, whatever you pick in Eternal. And this game is like Magic the Gathering. It's much closer to Magic the Gathering than Hearthstone. I mean, it has a Hearthstone interface, which you'll see when we get into the games but so this is the first first pack first pick what do we take here i like shatter glass mage although the general rule is that you don't want to pick a multi-colored card goken what's going on man finally streaming finally streaming let me know if uh, Jonah said I sounded really good. So I assume that means I'm not too loud, which is my main concern. All right. So here, Shadow Glass Mage or the Awakened Sentinel. Hmm. I think I'll take the Awakened Sentinel just for the... Uh, because it's a single faction card and I kind of want to leave myself open to uh, other factions later on in the draft so let's go ahead and take that you know Shattered Glass Mage I like Shattered Glass Mage it's a good constructed card I don't know if it's good in draft uh, let's see pick number two here ooh Blister Sting Wasp I really like Blister Sting Wasp uh, don't want to take Crown Watch Squire this early. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just now looking back at chat. He's like, yeah, the hype's gone for me. Maul, see ya. Cool story, Bob. Oh, this, well, I'm not playing Hearthstone, so you know. Yeah, I gotta pick 48 cards. I gotta pick 48 cards. Um, I'll take the Blister Sting Wasp. I don't really like anything else in this pack. Xenia Cupbearer is okay as a 4-drop, but we, we might be going into uh, Time and Shadow are the factions that I'm in right now, which is called Xenon when they're combined together. So, all right. I'm gonna take the Amarin Archaeologist here. Although I could take Skywall Constructor. I don't have to stick with time. Don't have to stick with time. Skywall Constructor is pretty good. But let's stick with time. Mm. Blink Wolf? The problem is there's no, uh, there's no good time cards in this pack. There's no good time cards in this pack. I, mean, I could take Discipline Omanera, but like the Life Force ability, it typically doesn't work out. Oh god. Uh, let's 
let's see. Noble Fire Main is good too. Let's take the Noble Fire Main for now. Oh, Lisa Seeker. Well, I kind of want to take Stripe the Ractid on. I'm immediately punished. <laughs> I should have took the Amonera. No. No. I am so mad. I could have had health gain and I could have buffed her. Jeez. Oh, guys, let me know how the. Uh, is the video good? Everything should show 1080p, 60 frames per second, no lag, no stutter, no. I don't see any drop frames. Yeah, I'm not dropping frames, so. Uh, let's see. Jawbone Hatchet is pretty good. People like Talir's Choice. I don't like Talir's Choice, but I'm probably thinking of it from playing like ranked games not draft okay well if it's 720p 60 frames that's fine that's fine Yeah, she was telling me to clean my room. Alright, I'm gonna take Talir's Choice. Cause no, I'm gonna take Jawbone Hatchet. I like it better than Talir's Choice. Ooh, another Awakened Sentinel. That's too many 5 drops. I don't really want to take Ice Bow, though. Ice Bow's okay. Trailblaze is a good, decent card draw we want it like Valkyrie line breaker is just a freaking bomb but I mean I'm not this is a justice card I haven't pulled any justice cards yet nah you didn't get me in trouble <laughs> nah you didn't get me in trouble all right I'm gonna play it safe because I'm a boring person and take another Awakened Sentinel As I'll, and then I'll probably get punished for not taking the line breaker because that's usually how it works all right so crafty it's probably gonna be crafty Yeti because you know these are time cards sandstorms okay but trail runner is awful I'm not picking trail runner yeah things between sandstorm crafty Yeti maybe even Cerso's meddling Probably gonna be Crafty Yeti. Yeah, I'll take the Crafty Yeti. No. Hmm. No, I'll take Crafty Yeti. I'll take Crafty Yeti. All right, we'll take the Almanera. Uh, I guess the Skycrack Banner. Bandit. Same last time. Nice, a Lumen Shepherd. 
I think we have to take that. Granite Acolyte's good too, though. I mean, we're slowly looking like a... Uh, we might be Praxis after all, which is fire and time. Fire and time cards combined. That makes up the Praxis faction. Okay. So if we're in... That means I do have to consider Granite Acolyte. Or if I want to stick to a Shadow card, I mean, I could take Dark Wisp is good. Lumen Shepherd is just another bomb. I'll take the Lumen Shepherd. I'm not going to worry about uh, getting like low cost drops yet. Oh my goodness. This torch. I have to take this torch, right? I can't not take it. Yeah, I, I have to take this torch. That's easy. Easy. Sanctuary Priest? Do we just go all in on this? This Almanera? We have Oasis Seeker. We have Almanera. No way, it's a trap. It's a trap. We take the Amber Acolyte here. Or even the Magma Javelin's better. Because Magma Javelin's removal. And you just equip it and kill something. Amber Acolyte's good for... Actually, no. Let's take the Amber Acolyte because there is a chance I could use three different faction colors. Like, I could see Fire, Time, and... Like Blissing Wasp has a shadow requirement. So I'll take Amber Acolyte just in case we go three colors. Although I really like Mag Magma Javelin in draft. It's been a really good card for me. So we'll take the Amber Acolyte. Lethry Ranger. Yeah, let's take Lethry Ranger. Mage 4 3. Our fours are looking kind of rough, but I think I still take the Ornate Katana and just hope I can pick stuff up later in the draft. Uh, I'll take Gorilla Fighter. It's, it's looking like Praxis, boys. Oh god, this is tough because I want the Stone Scar Stranger in case I go three faction. It's really good because you, you get fire and shadow influence you don't actually get a uh, like mana power it's power in this game but you know all right let's cut crafty yeti we're not gonna be in blue i don't think we're gonna be in blue at all i want this magma jet i'm gonna take the magma javelin we're only 20 cards in all right this is a this doesn't matter Another Lathry Ranger. Combust, sure. Fire it up, sure. Another Blister Sting Wasp. Alright, now I think we need to decide what we're gonna do. As far as, uh. Well, we've kind of decided the factions we wanna play. I don't think we're gonna play that Sand Glass Sentinel, it just costs too much. We don't have a lot of spells to make it work. Because that's how it gets its buffs. So, let's see. Buster Sting Wasp, it is, I believe. Or even Skeeter. Skeeter's okay, too. We're kind of lacking in three drops. No, I'll, I'll take the Wasp. I'll take the Wasp. This is probably going to... Oh, Purify. Jeez. It's a nice Purify. I'll take Purify. <laughs> I'll take another Purify. Uh, Alright, so our threes and fours are looking rough. So I'll take Thunderhoof Warrior. And then I'll take another Thunderhoof Warrior. And then I'll take a Praxis Banner here. Take Almanera. I guess. I don't like taking strangers because they always. I always feel like they're gonna backfire even though they don't. I think I have to take it though. I don't think I have a choice to be honest. 
so I'll, I'll take it. We're really lacking threes. I'll take Envelop here. Uh, Burning Glaive, I'm not gonna play it, but whatever. Probably not gonna play Threaten either. The Hall of Lost Memes. I mean Kings. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta catch up on chat. <laughs> Three Monks Brew is really dark beer. I don't like the looks of it, but maybe it tastes good. I mean, you know, hey. <laughs> I didn't pick the shiny green card. Oh, now you picked one. It's ni a nice little... We might have a nice little deck going on. Either that or it's gonna epically fail. We'll see. <laughs> like, I don't have the cards to make this work, unfortunately. Oh, that would be hilarious. Nah, I'll be responsible. I'll brew responsibly. Well, oh, I, I can't take this. Uh, unless there's nothing else good. Unfortunately, there is other stuff that's good. That's the unfortunate part. Like another Rebel Sharpshooter. All right. Dark return. Or do I take Dipl diplomatic seal? If we go three faction, this helps us. This could this could help us even though there's some drafters that are way better than me that they don't like diplomatic seal in draft. Like it just did doesn't never works out for them. Cuz it kind of trolls you cuz once you get past the requirement then it doesn't it just gives you mana it doesn't give you like actual influence which is the this thing the icon all right that being said i i think we take dark return here dark return is just so powerful yeah i'm gonna take dark return i'll be a little greedy hello Hmm. I almost took this obliterate. But now I'm thinking about Sanctuary Priest because now we have two Discipline Dominaires. The question is, are we going to be playing both of them? Nah, obliterate's better. Obliterate's just better. I'm gonna take execute here. Hello, torch. Granite acolyte, that's good. We're almost done, boys. I'll take a smuggler stash. I'll take a hmm, teleporter tower top patrol. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Goken. You know, you could play CSGO and just, like, have me in the background. Oh, but then you can't hear, like, noises. You know, you might get popped by, like, a... You're on CT, you get popped by a terrorist. Because you were listening to me and you didn't hear a grenade or... Or, oh, crap. I need to disable the bomb. And I'm sitting here watching Mulligan draft an Eternal. I, th I threw for my team. This sucks. Uh, anyway. Teleport's not that good. Cause, like, we have Torch. We have possibly Execute. We have Obliterate. Like, I'm playing Torch and Obliterate. Like, those I'm playing. I don't care. And we have possibly Blister Sting Moss. Possibly Combust. I'm gonna take the Tower Top Patrol. Flying is so important in, in this format. You get stuff that flies. It's really good. As I skipped that Sky Snapper, but we don't have blue cards. Although here we have to take one, so I'm gonna steal a feeding time from somebody. All right. So now we have to actually build the deck because we need power. We have to have power to play our cards. This is not Hearthstone. So we're gonna have to make some cuts. We'll cut 
feeding time, that's obvious. And then we're gonna cut Burning Glaive, Hellfire Rifle, and we'll cut a Threaten, we'll cut a... I took a Pyrodep, really? I don't remember that. Well, we're cutting Pyrodep. I'm gonna cut Cult Aspirant. Because there's a chance I cut these Almoneris. Although I don't have a lot of three drops. That's kind of an issue. Because if I cut the Almoneris, then I only have... <laughs> you guys are such trolls. Jeez. Anyway. So if I cut the Almoneris... Amber Acolyte, Granite Acolyte, a Jawbone Hatchet, and two Rebel Sharpshooters. Maybe that is enough. Maybe that is enough. Alright, let's do that. I'm actually gonna cut Audacious Bandit and probably Swift Stranger. Because Thunderhoof Warrior is better than both of those. Magma Devil is really good. Gorilla War Fighters. Okay, it's not amazing. I might cut Gorilla Fighter. That is that is very very possible that I cut Gorilla Fighter. I'm actually gonna cut one Awaken Sentinel. You know, I think it's a good card. I think it's a solid card. Uh, let's cut Envelop. I'll cut Cult Aspirant. I want to keep Oasis Seeker because we still need two drops. Uh, Skycrag Banner, we gotta cut that because we're not running blue cards. 31. I have Amaran Archaeologist to find mana, and I have Amber Acolyte to find mana or power. Hmm, and then a Praxis Banner. Let's add power. Okay, so it's given us 17 power to work with. And then Acolyte and Archaeologist kind of count as power as well. So it's 19, which I think I need to run 19. So I need to cut two cards. So I'm going to cut Gorilla Fighter. What are you guys saying? <laughs> do a testing stream for the gazillionth time if you need power in your deck you should add Tazdingo in it his hate has much power <laughs> I'm playing shadow cards so you know the hate, the hate flows through this deck right I mean look at this look, look at this card execute suffocate I mean <laughs> combust I I have deadly wasps. These are base these are poisonous. They fly and they're poisonous. So anything that it attacks or blocks dies. Man, what else do I get rid of? I don't I don't want to get rid of anything that costs five or six i think all those cards are good i even think tower top patrol is okay especially when i run ornate katana noble fire main hmm. it's kind of tough to be honest maybe i have too many two drops after all I have six? No, that's not too many. That's not too many. No way. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I could get greedy and cut a power. That's probably what I do. Yeah, that's probably what I do. Just cut a power. Just be greedy. <laughs> right. Sixteen, seventeen with seventeen and eighteen. Well, okay. This is what we'll do. Uh 
cut that and I guess cut a Thunderhook Warrior. Then it feels like I'm really low on threes. I mean fours. Jeez. <laughs> Tazdingo is no doubt in the shadow deck. Unless there's a, a creep deck, then he's there. I mean, yeah. Is Tazdingo still under your bed, Jonas, by the way? I'm just I'm just curious. <sighs> All these two drops are good. All these three drops are good. Dark return. I cut dark return because I have smuggler stash. This also gets back units. Costs way more. And I get back weapons. So that's 17. Yeah, 17. 17 power. An Amber and Archaeologist to get power. And an Amber Acolyte to get power. That's 19. Alright, this is the deck. This is the deck. This is it. We're done. <laughs>